Hello. Welcome to another lesson. This one is actually a lesson that I received um, personal experience from an astral projection that I did. Um, it was a valuable lesson because it taught me a lot about how I was operating, my attitude, um, and it was definitely during a very uh, daring time in my uh, life. I mean, my first experiences with astral projection were in the army. I was uh, in the IDF, the Israeli Defense Forces, um, serving about a mile away from Gaza Strip. So it was like motor rockets that have been falling around. And uh, my first experience with astral projection was actually when I was in a bunker and we had tons of um, battles happening a mile away. Um, and I was, yeah, tired enough to have a projection of some sort. The conditions were just right. And we'll talk about the conditions. But essentially, um, one of the lessons that I received that was really fundamental was how I was uh, operating and uh, realizing that uh, I was uh, receiving a certain type of environment each time I would come out, um, I would exit. I was able to reproduce astral projections since I was kind of in, a, in this drive, urge to un uncover more, have more experiences, become masterful at it. And through the process of um, repeating, um, doing more and more experiences, I came to, uh, to find that when I would exit, sometimes I would have this very terrible feeling uh, and I would be afraid or I would be uh, angry uh, I would feel anger or I'd feel fear in, when I project and um, I would get up from it and I would, wouldn't re realize why, why it would happen. I didn't recognize that it was coming from me. So what ended up happening was that I read a little bit about it, um, trying to figure out because I was reading a lot about astral projection when I was researching this stuff. And one of the things that I came across was that um, I have the power to, to, to set up conditions, to, to communicate to the environment uh, or to any being that was outside waiting in the astral um, sphere that I was, I was in um, that I had an ability of affecting it by communicating to it. And one of the things I remember is that when I would uh, do my projection, I would suddenly feel myself able to, uh, I'm, I'm between the body and I'm in the astral body, but I'm like in my physical body yet still, I can rise up. Um, I would feel a presence. Uh, it was before my third eye opened, but I would feel a presence and I saw this blue hue outside of me. And uh, I would feel it as an entity and uh, I would feel this fear and because I felt this fear I, it, it just kind of deterred me from from continuing on like getting up or doing more so what ended up happening was that I I decided at this very interesting moment to smile at it to N not doesn't necessarily have to be like a, a a heartfelt smile even though that's like very powerful it was just kind of like i was thinking of the idea of smiling and the 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 idea of itself it's kind of like just trying to put a smile on my face and kind of like smile towards its direction um brightened my experience and i felt very um very calmer i I got to even um, have this uh, entity after it's come and help me rise up. I asked it for some help because I felt suddenly that I was more uh, welcomed or more um, more uh, <laughs> approachable. So they, uh, I remember them trying to pull me out, but my at the time I was just not ready enough to experience more. So instead of experiencing more, I woke up, I faded back into my body. And this happens. It sometimes happens 
uh, particularly since at the time that I was doing this stuff, I didn't know what I know to do today. I didn't, I didn't know the techniques that I have uncovered since and the wisdom that I know. Uh, so just like a smile itself, it's power. The, uh, the Taoists even have this practice. I have this book called The Six uh, Healing Sounds. And it's about uh, using sounds to uh, specifically hit targets of like addresses, zip codes in the body, as if when you do a sound, you're targeting a certain organ and you're helping it discharge uh, stagnant energy uh, and detox. Um, and what they do is that they use these sounds, but then they also use um, a smile. They, they discharge the energy and then they have to replace that energy with something else, reprogram. So I would, they would, um, the technique itself that the Taoists had was to um, smile from that organ, to, to kind of like look with, with your gaze towards that organ and smile. And so it's kind of like when you're into the astral body, you're not always looking with your two eyes, the physical eyes that you think that you're using now. Those are just apparatuses that you use as a physical vehicle. But when you're in an astral body, you have the plexuses, those uh, glandular chakras that you, you'd have in a physical form. You have them also in a, an astral form, and they're called the astral vibratory chakras. And... Um, just kind of like gazing from this chakra towards something and smiling on it um, helps restructure or like communicate with it your state of mind and it kind of reforms itself. It kind of has to respond and react. So the same thing would happen with the astral being that uh, was uh, waiting for me outside my bed, outside my, in, in my room, is that I felt the fear the fear was obviously coming from me because it's like a new domain. I'm suddenly waking up into this world uh, of possibilities I have no, no more knowledge about and I'm out on a limb learning as I go. And voila, I mean, you get to just use something as simple as a smile that communicates this energy and it picks it up so immediately that you feel a shift and your shift internally helps the the external environment also shift it's like a corresponding relationship that you that i learned from the universal connection since like uh, the last year and a half what i did with this astral projection this was seven years ago probably eight years ago by now so i've i've been into it for quite a while but um i mean i have a windmill here and it's been teaching me so much about um, the universal connection and how when you have a certain particular emotion, uh, you project it. And it's a, it's a method of communication. Emotions are signals. You're communicating a, a, an intention, a, ba a base of thoughts that you are operating uh, at. The, what you are sensation, sensing inside is your relationship with those thoughts that you have. So if I would be waking up in, uh, outside of my body, uh, in my body but in my astral body, uh, and I feel a certain type of threat, fear, anxiety, I need to calm myself down. And that's how you do it. You, you do it with positive energy, with those, those positive feelings that reinforce with you this flow, uh, gentle flow, this flow that helps you feel more comfortable in your, in your skin, so to say, in your astral, astral skin, but uh, in this form that you're waking up to. So, I mean, you're shedding one body into, in order to get into another body. You're literally going to um, get into this body that you need to learn how to operate with, and that means uh, being more in tune with your thoughts and your emotions so what you're thinking about you can also project a certain type of feeling to it and the feeling itself is the way to communicate that thought across uh, in a certain way of course 
um, there's other ways to communicate. <laughs> uh, but I think that's it for now. Th that's, a, that's my story when it comes to one of my astral projections. Uh, a valuable lesson that I got. Well, hopefully it serves you well and that you can practice not only in astral bodies, but start practicing now because the habits that you produce now, the good ones, are the ones that you take with you as a personality when you go into another body. So keep that in mind. And it's always good to smile.